Hello, and welcome to an episode of Indie Worth Owning. Today we're playing Fishing Girl. Now, Fishing Girl is a bit of a left field choice, I will admit. It's not a particularly exciting game. It's not a game full of bombastic explosions or thriller minute action. No, Fishing Girl is something different. Fishing Girl is that game you play when you're a little bit tired. Maybe it's late on and you've just spent four hours solid playing Call of Duty. You're sweaty, you've got the twitches. It's time to chillax, and Fishing Girl is the perfect game for that. The premise is very, very simple. You're a little bear thing, I want to say. I'm not really sure. It's not important. And you're a girl. And then your little friend, who's the boy, gets taken away from you by the mystical moving of the ground for some reason. And you must retrieve him with the power of fishing. So, what happens? You cast your rod and you catch some fish. And then when you've caught the fish, it gets sold automatically and you get money. And then you can upgrade your rod, upgrade your fishing laws. And slowly but surely, you'll reach the point where you cast your rod so far that you can drag the land all the way back across and be reunited with the boy. And that's the whole game. I know it sounds ridiculous, I know it sounds silly, but give it a go. It's one of those delightful little games where everything just works nicely. It's relaxing. And that's something you don't get too often in video games. So, there you have it. Fishing Girl, available on Xbox Live Indie Games now for 69 pence. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.